Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving the problem from motion in two dimension. The problem is like this. There is a staircase. There is a staircase that contains three steps. There is only three steps in this staircase. Each is of 10 centimeters height and 20 centimeter wide. What would be the minimum horizontal velocity of a ball rolling off the uppermost plane so as to hit directly the edge of the lowest plane? That's what the problem is. Let's try to describe, draw a diagram what he has given. There are three steps. Say this is step one, step two, step three. Each one is having a height h, h and h and having their length x, x and x. And what he is saying is, he is throwing a ball here with a velocity u. It has to travel in such a way that it has to come and hit the step this way. We need to calculate what is the velocity with which the body has to be thrown so that it will come and hit it. It's very clear that a ball dropped, a ball released or who is moving horizontally, a ball that is moving horizontally has to cover how much of a total horizontal distance x x and x 3x horizontal distance how much is that 3x horizontal distance total x is 3 into length of each step is 20 centimeters so that's nothing but equal to 3 into 20 centimeters or 3 into 0 0.2 meters that is 0 0.6 meter and it has to cover a vertical distance of vertical distance of h and h and h 3 times of h so the y is nothing but 3 times of each h is 10 centimeter or 0 0.1 meter so it has to cover a total distance of 0 0.3 meters. If that is the case, if that is the case, we need to calculate the velocity with which this body has to be projected. We know horizontal distance is, I am trying to use a formula ut plus half a t square, ut is there, as acceleration along x axis is 0 because the only acceleration acting is gravity but the tax only along y axis but not along x axis. I know the value of the x is given to us total x it has to cover is 0.6 u into t. We have to calculate that t. If I have to calculate that t, I have to calculate the u. If I have to calculate that u, I need to know the value of the t also. For that I can use an equation for y, again using the same formula ut plus half a t square. But there is no u along y axis because body is initially projected along x axis. Acceleration in the y axis is plus g because it is coming down. The total y as we have calculated is nothing but equal to 0 0.3 meter half g. T square. So I have to calculate the t. t equal to root of 2 into 0 0.3 by g. Assuming g as 10 meter per second square. 0 0.6 by 10. That's the time for traveling. That is the thing but 0 0.6 into 10 power minus 1. That is 6 into 10 power minus 2. That is nothing but root 6 into 10 power minus 1 seconds. 
it takes this much of the time to cover right now substituting this value of the time in the equation x equal to ut we can get an equation as 0 0.6 equal to u into t 0 0.6 can be written like 6 into 10 power minus 1 u t is root 6 into 10 power minus 1 as we have proved now 10 power minus 1 can be cancelled so u is 6 by root 6 or root 6 meter per second if you calculate it will get close to 2.45 meter per second so for this to happen the body shall be projected with a velocity of 2.45 meter per second horizontally therefore it can come and hit the last step comfortably that's it thank you for watching keep coming back for more and more video lessons